It's Thursday, April 19th, 2018. And it's a Thursday show, which means it's time for Nostalgia Tripping. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, of course, you've seen in the title. If you clicked on it, you know. It's like we're going to talk about this right here. Mountain Dew. My very first one. Not this one. This is like 2,603. Uh, you know, I kept track over the years. Uh, I've drank a lot of Dew over the time, but it's like, when was my first Mountain Dew? Now, I haven't been drinking soda since I was a little kid because when I was a little kid, we couldn't afford soda. Back in the 70s, we couldn't afford it. It's like my dad at the time was only one working because my mom was at home taking care of me and my sister, so more than likely all we ever drank was Kool-Aid or milk. Kool-Aid, you just get a packet, some sugar and water, and you're good. A lot cheaper than soda. Not really that good for your teeth either, but it's the 70s, and we just thought, well, this is cheap. Let's go with this. And, Ma and uh, Kool-Aid used to come in these big canisters, you know, these big tin canisters with the thing wrapped around. I remember they had the scoop inside. Now, they, you know, they come in something like that. It's a little smaller, but, but we'd always either have, like, grape or cherry, and that was it. Sodas weren't something we really ever had in the house until I was maybe 10 or 11. Every once in a while, my parents would buy a two liter of something for themselves, uh, maybe a Pepsi usually, but uh, soda just wasn't a big thing in our house. Um, then I think we moved into our apartment at that time, and then we moved into a house. Uh, my parents were both working at the time. They'd both been with their jobs fairly long, so they were making, you know, when you've been at a job for a long time, you start to make a little bit of money. They were both good employees, so they got better raises. and So they were making a little bit better money. They could afford to, to buy things that normally we wouldn't have when we were younger. So we started being able to have sodas in the house. Now, the first sodas I think I drank were just whatever was in there, which was, I think, Pepsi, mostly. And I liked Pepsi. I had no problem with Pepsi. And then I got on a kick of caffeine-free Coke. I don't know why it's like, it's like oh, caffeine free. I liked the gold can at the time. There was, it was, you know, Coke was in a red can and caffeine diet Coke was in a silver can. And then caffeine free Coke was in this really cool looking gold can. So I started drinking caffeine free Coke. Tastes like regular Coke, but I liked it for some reason. Then I went through a Sprite phase. Once again, staying away from caffeine, which is just odd. But I liked Sprite, so I would ask my parents to get me Sprite, so that's what I would drink, and it became Dr. Pepper. So I'm going through all these little soda phases, and you know, no big deal, and I'll drink whatever. I mean, if I go to a restaurant and they don't have Pepsi products, I'll drink a Coca-Cola. I'm not, I'm not snobbish towards them. I mean, I, you know, I'll drink a soda if I want a soda. So Mountain Dew is a soda I never drank, though. Never had it, never wanted it, never thought I would want it. I remember what, thinking what a lot of kids at the time thought. It looks like pee. I don't want to drink pee. It's gross. I'm not going to drink it. So then I uh, befriended a guy that I worked with at Sears when I was there. His name was Doug. Went over to his apartment. We were hanging out. And he said, you want anything to drink? And I said, sure. What do you got? And he goes, Mountain Dew. I'm going, you got anything else? No, I just had Mountain Dew. That's all he had. Him and his roommate, all they had was Mountain Dew. So I said, yeah, I'll, whatever, I'll drink a Mountain Dew. From that point, I was hooked. I have been drinking Mountain Dew now since probably 95 or 96. So you're looking at well over 20 years of just drinking Mountain Dew. And I, I love my Mountain Dew. I go through it a lot. Now, what, what brought on this topic? Somebody asked me, when did you start drinking Mountain Dew? Why do you drink so much Mountain Dew? Love it. I, I absolutely love Mountain Dew. Tried Diet Mountain Dew for a little while, you know, because yeah, I can stand to use a couple pounds. And it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's one of the better diet sodas. But it just doesn't have the same taste as regular Mountain Dew. And I don't drink it for the caffeine. I don't drink it for the kick because I don't get a kick from it anymore. I really don't. I think it's one of those things, it's like the, it's like the more uh, you get, uh, I think early on I probably gave me a caffeine kick because it has like, I think the most caffeine of a regular soda, you know, not including like Jolt and, you know, energy drinks, of course, but 
it's high up there on the list for sugar content and uh, caffeine content. And at first, I think it did give me a little bit of a kick, but that's not why I drank it. I don't drink anything for the kick. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. Uh, I should drink more water, but I don't. Love milk, but Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is the drink of choice. But I'm not a snob. I will drink a Mellow Yellow because it doesn't taste bad either. It's like I'll drink... I'll drink a, a lemonade, I'll drink Coke still, drink Pepsi still, drink... Uh, it's not something that it's like I'm one of those people that it's like, that's all I'll drink. No, I have lots of different sodas that I'll drink, but Mountain Dew is the best. I love Mountain Dew. Hello, Dew, my old friend. We'll be together till the end. And you know, with the sugar content that's in it, it's like, you know... You know I'm probably being rotted away from the inside by it, but I'll go happy. I'll go probably drinking a do. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just something I've been drinking my whole life. Or not my whole life. It's stupid. You started in your, you know, early 20s. But, you know, I've been drinking a long time. 22, 23 years of drinking Mountain Dew. and So, uh, thanks, Doug. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably still be drinking Dr. Pepper, which I still like, still tasty, but Mountain Dew is still the favorite. It's like, I think, the third best-selling soda behind Coke and Diet Coke for some reason, Diet Coke. But yeah, I think Mountain Dew is like the third best-selling soda behind those two uh, giants. Uh, nowadays, I think more coffees and energy drinks and things of that nature, I think the younger people... Uh, go for that stuff before they go for just regular sodas. But keep it's like I'm glad that at least the soda that I love is popular enough. They'll probably make it for my entire lifetime. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy the Mountain Dew until we until we go. Uh, so, what's your favorite soda? Do you love Mountain Dew? Do you love a different soda? Do you love coffee? Do you love just water? What do you love? It's like, let me know down in the comments below and tell the troops, past, present, and future. Thanks for the freedom.